Hey everyone, it's Dr. Kelly of Discovery Health, your holistic health and restorative medicine nurse practitioner. It's great to see you again. I know that I haven't been doing many videos, but watch for more on all new types of treatments and things that you can enjoy from Discovery Health coming soon. But tonight I just wanted to give you a quick little video about a scenario that may be happening to a lot of you and you never even realized you could be doing something different. Now, this scenario happened to a 20-year-old patient of mine. Um, she was referred to me by a family member and her and her mom both joined the appointment together. But the reason that they wanted to come see me was to help reverse the autoimmune thyroid disease she was just diagnosed with. Now, for most of you who follow me, you know I've got lots of videos out there on autoimmune disease and they watched them and that reaffirmed that this was the right place to be. But the tragedy of the story is what I wanna talk about. And if this is happening to you, regarding your thyroid, regarding autoimmune disease, regarding any other health issue that you're having, I'm gonna tell you, don't settle for less. There are a lot of integrative practitioners out there, functional medicine practitioners out there, and they may say on their websites that they take a holistic approach or do a lot of different things, but this is what happened. And it really changed my viewpoint of this provider after hearing the story. So this 20 year old during Christmas break, mom noticed, hey, your thyroid, that looks really big or your neck has this big bulge in it. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Now, the student didn't have a lot of symptoms related to hypothyroidism, and that was good, and that's all part of her story. But the issue is they thought they better seek medical treatment for that, and that's right. And they went to see an integrative medical doctor in one of the local systems. This is what happened. She got her thyroid tested, Yay. In fact, she got an ultrasound done of her thyroid right away. Fantastic. It was 100% normal. But her TPO lab, her TPO antibody, which was the only antibody tested, and she should have technically had two antibodies tested, came back elevated. Her TSH, her free T3, her free T4 were within normal range. She wasn't having an energy problem. She was diagnosed with autoimmune thyroid disease, told she had Hashimoto's, and then said, hey, we'll see you again in six months. They said, what? Six months? Is there anything we should do? Is there something we can do to change this goiter? Is there something I should do to improve my health? How can I stop this autoimmune disease? They didn't get any answers. And they weren't satisfied with that. And neither should you ever be satisfied when you're diagnosed with a medical condition and then given no information about it and giving nothing to do about it, just told, we'll recheck labs in six months and see what happens. You know what happens in six months? You get worse. This young woman doesn't have a thyroid problem in producing hormones, but she definitely has an assault on her thyroid. It's swollen twice the size and she's got antibodies to prove it. They asked about taking some supplements that provider told them, don't take any supplements. Hmm. Even if they help my thyroid, she said, don't do anything. We'll recheck labs in six months. So we started to work together. We rechecked, to, or we didn't recheck. We have ordered additional labs that were missed that should be checked because the other interesting thing is that EBV or monovirus is absolutely involved in this case and we need to target that as well. So we test, finished testing her appropriately, got her on the appropriate supplements, 
to target her immune system. I gave her lots of education and now she's on the road to health. When you're ready to go on the road to health instead of just being medically managed or told wait another six months when it gets bad enough then we'll change, you need to come and see me for a different approach. DrKellyFilmer.com